Hi everyone, welcome to Practice Problem Inventory 01, where we're going to test your knowledge of perpetual versus periodic inventory systems. So first question, multiple choice. Which of the following are characteristics of a perpetual or the ongoing version of the inventory system? Take a moment, pause the video, see if you can figure out which one of these are characteristics of a perpetual inventory system. Come back when you're ready and I'll walk through the answers. All right, welcome back. So, which of the following are characteristics of a perpetual inventory system? Let's look at A. Adjusting journal entries are used to record net purchases and sales at the end of the accounting period. That is not a characteristic of perpetual inventory system. Your purchases and your sales are recorded every time you make a purchase or sale transaction, and inventory account is perpetually updated to reflect that. B. All sales transactions require a double entry to record both sales revenue and cost of goods sold. That is a characteristic of a perpetual inventory system. You will have, depending on how you got paid, either AR or cash as a debit, reflecting a sales price, and you will record sales rev for that amount. And then you will have a debit to cost of goods sold and a credit to inventory for the cost of the good that you are now handing over to the customer. Okay, so double entry system. C, the on-hand inventory value is always up to date. That is also true. Because you are recording every purchase and every sale as it happens, the on-hand balance is in fact always up to date. D, the inventory ledger is used to track the physical count of inventory on hand. No, that is not true. Ledgers track values, not physical counts. Now, the physical count can get matched to the value based on you have this many of this item and they are worth this much each. Do the math. You can figure out what the total worth is, right? But the ledger tracks the values, not the physical number. All right, so B and C were right there. Let's do another. Periodic inventory systems. Similar question. Which of the following are characteristics of a periodic inventory system? Take a moment, pause, try it out for yourself. When you're ready, come on back. I'll walk through the solution. All right, welcome back. So, A, an adjusting journal entry must be made to record cost of goods sold at the end of the accounting period. This is a characteristic of a periodic inventory system. You are not reducing inventory for every sale made. Instead, you're comparing your ending on-hand balance with your starting on-hand balance, and then you make an adjustment for the difference to cost of goods sold. B, do not use an inventory ledger. So characteristics of periodic system, do they not use an inventory ledger? Well, that's not true. They use an inventory ledger, they just use it differently than a perpetual system. A perpetual system hits the ledger with every transaction. A periodic system is just going to hit the ledger at the end of the period when the balance gets updated, but it still uses it. C, the on-hand inventory value is always up to date. That is not true either. Because you're not making adjustments with each transaction, your balance is not up to date until you get to the end of the period and you update it. D, commonly used for low value, indistinguishable unit inventory. That is true. The best situations for a periodic inventory system is when you have a lot of low dollar value, basically, uh, uh, interchangeable goods, like gumballs. There's no point in tracking the sale of each and every gumball. Just check how many gumballs are left in the machine, subtract how many you knew the machine started with, the difference is how many you sold, you know what the value of a gumball is, you can do the math and figure out what cost of goods sold is. So A and D were true in this situation. All right, that's it for this practice problem. Hope you found it helpful. Hope you join me for another.